Oh, he just doesn't have a spider eye. He d oh, how's he got everything apart from a spider eye? Let me show him my spider eye. Gooey, look what I got. Look what I got. I got a spider eye. <laughs> and he's got everything else that I don't have. Right, let's put the, the spider eye in. So let's go straight to the nether then, as I said, and try and get the, the blaze rod and the magma cream because all he needs is a spider eye. I can't believe that he's managed to get all of the really difficult stuff and the one thing he hasn't been able to find is a spider. That's kind of unbelievable. And whoa, immediately getting shot as I come through here. Right, so to find uh, the blaze, uh, you need to find a nether fortress, which are uh, basically like big castles uh, built out of a nether rack down here in the nether. So uh, I just need to go and try and come across one of them. It is an odd nether, isn't it? It is odd how flat and open it is. It is rather peculiar. And oh, that is what you expect to see, a whole load of lava. And I think I saw a glimpse of a nether fortress uh, directly under my feet down here. Right, if I just go and try and risk it and try and make my way down here, I guess, will I survive? that oh look there's a magma cube all right let's go down this way and try and take out the magma cube and uh, try and find a way to get into this nether fortress because it's daytime there's going to be no spiders spawning so i've actually got a chance here if i'm quick i've got a chance there we go i managed to get myself some magma cream and i found my way to the nether fortress and oh no i've already got magma cream i don't need to deal with you anymore please get out my place please don't hurt me i also want to be very careful not to, to hit the pigmen because they could hurt me and oh god these guys are really going for me actually let's back off and uh, have something to eat to hopefully uh, start getting my health back up and let's just have my iron sword swinging even the little ones hurt you with slimes uh, the little guys don't hurt you but with magma cubes uh, these do and i'm getting backed off to the end of a bridge here <laughs> this seems like a scene out of like um lord of the rings or something i'm just sort of running out of walkway let's just try and run past them shall we and all that was dangerous i could have got pushed in the lava there we go i managed to get past them i can't waste any more time uh, but i do want to make sure that my my health is up before i go after those guys can you see ahead of me you see that blaze down there at the end of the corridor and here we go there's one right here and this guy might be by himself as well i actually got a good chance of taking that guy out but i'm doing nothing against those magma cubes all right let's go and try and go after this blaze then shall we this is going to be dangerous because uh, if they set you on fire they can hurt you big time so let me stand back here for a little bit and uh, try and get my health up and oh no he's going for me he's going for me right i need to charge in and try and take him out please don't burn to death stampy please don't burn to death there we go i got i got some oh what did i get oh, i think i got blaze powder oh no i got glowstone dust they drop glowstone dust, really? Okay, there's more around that corner around there. I can hear them growling at me. Right, nothing's coming up behind me. If they come around this corner, I'm going to be ready to ambush them quick as I can. I didn't get any blaze rods. Did I? Oh, no, I did. I got a blaze rod. I got everything I need. Let's get out of here. Let's go home, shall we? Right, I'm going to have to go and make my way past that big magma cube. <laughs> Look at its scary eyes down there at the end of the corridor. Right, let's just run. Just run past it. Oh, no, all these little ones. They're, 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 they've not left me. They've still been following me. Or right, let's just try and back off if we can right let me just go and just pile up like this shall we actually if i go actually, if i go around this way i think i might be able to go back up this way and try and get back through i'm scared to leave squid there for too long because the chances are he might have found a spider by now i really do not want to go home and see that he's won because if he's won this that means he has won overall and that is going to be disastrous and oh there's things going behind me right let's go 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 so all i need now is one ender pearl if i get an ender pearl then i've got all of the items that i needed for the googly challenge but uh, first things first i need to try and get out of the never let's have a quick bit of bread to try and get my hunger back up so my health's going to be healing and let's try and get through the um the never portal without the blaze destroying it then shall we oh he's going to shoot at me okay just run 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 okay work work please get me through get me through get me through don't shoot at me please don't shoot at me go on teleport me teleport me oh Ooh, 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 there we go. I made it through. And he hasn't won. Oh, no, that's my one. He hasn't won. He hasn't won. He actually hasn't won. He hasn't been able to find a spider. That is kind of unbelievable. I've got a chance here. Right, blaze rod and magma cream. Okay, so I want to put the blaze rod goes there. Magma cream goes there. And all I need is an ender pearl. It's down to one thing each. He needs a spider eye and I need an ender pearl. And that's what it's going to be. That is going to be the deciding factor. That is kind of unbelievable. All right, so I need to find another cave then. Endermen do not like the rain. The rain really hurts them and makes them teleport around the place like crazy. And so what I need to do is I need to go straight down into a cave. Oh, oh, do you reckon this is where Squid's been? Or is this is this, is this where I went? Is this where I, where I went at the beginning? There seems to be one torch down there. Here we go. We found ourselves a cave. Right, I want to put torches everywhere on the way down to make sure I can find my way back out if I need to. And let's just go Enderman hunting then, shall we? 
I guess we just want to go uh, deep down as dark as possible. Uh, I can use the, the torches to, to find my way back if we need to. Actually, it doesn't really matter about how deep I go, uh, because, yeah, it, it just doesn't matter. It just needs to be a place big enough for an Enderman to spawn into, so a place with high ceilings, because <laughs> Endermen are, are pretty lanky. And, uh, yeah, so it needs to be a place dark enough and big enough for an Enderman to spawn into. That's basically what I'm looking for. And in these caves are all a little bit small and rubbish, to be honest, and a, a whole lot of dead ends around the place. I think Squid's got an easier task. Killing a spider is a lot easier than killing an Enderman, so I would rather be in his shoes, but uh, I'm kind of amazed that he hasn't won yet, to be honest, and we are both just after one more item each, so I still do have a chance, and this cave is kind of rubbish, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Ah, here's a little sneaky route they were trying to keep hidden for me, and it leads to anything? Anything down here? If I break my way down a little bit, is it going to lead to anything, or is this just a dead end down here? I think we might have just found a dead end, and oh no, now I'm going to have to go and fight the water to go and try and find my way back up here, I guess. All right, let me just go and try and break my way up here rather than swimming. This is probably quicker than trying to swim up. And right, I'm back up. All right, I might just try and find another cave. I want one that just goes really deep, really quick, I guess. But then again, I don't want to go too deep because I'm going to have to go back out again eventually. All right, let's go get my bread at hand as well so I can have something to eat. Because Squid's going to be in the exact same situation. Because it's the middle of the day, uh, he's going to have uh, no chance of uh, really finding spiders on the surface. Because once again, like Enderman, they don't uh, burn in the day. Uh, but they, yeah, they also don't spawn in the day either. So uh, he's going to have uh, not much chance either. But let's leave this cave, shall we? And let's go try and find uh, another cave. I think if I just dig my way out of here, uh, this is going to take me straight to the surface. Yep, here we go. I can see the, the rain on my face as I come out here. All right, let's go try and find uh, another cave somewhere around here, shall we? Okay, there are the, the house is over there. Let me just try and find a cave I haven't been to yet. Oh, there's a dog there. Let me see if I can get the dog on my side. See if I can, I can team up with a dog. See if <laughs> he's going to he's going to join me in my quest. And oh look, oh there's a cave a bit down there. I might go and have a look down in that direction once I've I've got the dog. If I can get the dog, I've only got one bone. Right, team up, team up, team up, team up. There we go. I've got a dog teaming up with me. Team up, I'm going to call him uh Team Up Tibbs he's going to be called. That's Tibbs the dog. <laughs> and uh, let's go down here. Try not to get too attached to Tibbs because this might get dangerous. And here we go. This is the exact kind of cave I wanted dark and deep immediately and it leads to absolutely nothing what a waste of time <laughs> this way tibbs follow me come on come on team up tibbs you've got to come and follow me this way we didn't find any enderman down here I don't know how Squid's going to be doing at the same time. There's got to be some better caves than this round here. Surely there's going to be a proper cave that goes down deep. But then again, even finding Endermen in caves is is rather difficult. But I, even if it becomes night now, because it's raining, I'm not going to be able to, to find any. So I really do need to, to find a good cave somewhere around here. Come on, there's got to be one somewhere around here. There's a snowy biome in this direction. I can maybe go head this way. I've not looked over here. Uh, there's some mountains over there. That's not going to help. I want to go down rather than up. Uh, if I go and jump over this way... No, I can't see any good entrances to caves down here. I, I keep going to look at the sun to see how near today it is, but of course you can't see the sun when it's raining, so <laughs> that's not uh, particularly useful. I can't believe that we both just only need one more thing to get. It's just made it so much more tense. <laughs> I was actually quite calm when I started this, but yeah, I've gradually got more and more panicky. And look, there's a, there's a desert right here. Oh, look, if I stand here, I am outside of the rain. And if it's if it starts to become night soon... Uh, that means we might get an enderman on the, the surface, which would be way easier than having to go down. Right, I still can't see the sun. Because it's still raining over there, I still can't see the sun. So I don't know how near it is to today. And oh, we're straight back into the rain. I guess it's just here within this desert. I guess this is just where it where it isn't rainy. This is right on the boundary. So uh, if it is becoming night soon, uh, then I could probably head back to the desert. Actually, there was that massive desert up at the, the top that I visited before. If I make my way back there, that might be better. I think going and just hanging out in the desert for a while might actually be a, a better strategy than going down into a cave because you do hardly ever run into Enderman down caves. Like, it's occasional, uh, but it's not really a common thing. So if I just go and uh, head to the, the desert... Uh, because I know it won't be raining there, uh, there's a good chance there will be a, an Enderman spawning. Oh, that's a bit of a, a weird cave. It's just one direct hole straight the way down there. Yeah, so hopefully by the time I get to the desert, it will be night. 
and then we'll get some some uh, Enderman spawning and hopefully get the get the Ender Pearl. The problem is, as soon as it is night, there's going to be spiders as well. And uh, unlike Enderman, spiders have no issue uh, hanging out in the rain. You always find them in bathtubs, don't you? Uh, sub spiders actually love water, so <laughs> that's going to be a big advantage uh, for Squid Nugget. But you know what? Even if I don't win, I want to try and get the Ender Pearl anyway, just so I can have my my little self victory. And if you do want to do the Googly Challenge yourself, uh, please do. With all of these challenge, I always uh, encourage people to to go and have a go doing them themselves. I don't think you're copying or anything. It's just uh, yeah, it's just nice to see how well other people do because uh, everyone comes up with their own strategy and does it in their own uh, different ways. So uh, yeah, if you've got some friends that like Minecraft as much as you do, uh, all you need to do to do this is load up a, a new world. You don't even need to build a house and stuff. We kind of do that anyway, but as long as you've got some item frames for all of the, the different pieces of googly loot, yeah, just load up a world and then get going to see who can be uh, the quickest and try and do better than me because <laughs> I've been doing this for half an hour and uh, yeah, I'm not doing too grand. Oh, I just can't believe I wasn't able to get that that ender pearl, I wandered round for an entire night without seeing one enderman. I think I think it's just bad luck. I can think we can put it all the way down to bad luck. But then again, if I think I had bad luck, Squid couldn't find a spider, which is crazy. Because you normally get spiders everywhere. And oh, look, there's a, a ravine down there. I want to be careful not hopping down that direction. And oh, I can see creepers are spawning already. It must be getting to night time. And I think the desert is directly ahead of me. Yeah, if I keep heading this way, I'm going to arrive at the desert. So it should definitely... Uh, and not be raining when we get to there. And so apart from uh, under the ground, it's pretty much going to be the, the only place Endermen are, are going to spawn. And it's actually quite good because... Um yeah, because they can't spawn anywhere else, the chances of them spawning there has kind of increased. It's like if you go into a dark place during the day, the chances are there's going to be more googlies in there just because the googlies can't spawn anywhere else. So at night, going into other dark places is actually safer, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, go on. You can go get him, Tibbs. You can get him, Tibbs. Good boy. That That's why I got the, that's why I got the dog. <laughs> that and uh, also for company as well, right? Where is this desert then? Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm completely heading in the wrong direction. Oh, now I start finding the good caves now. I'm not looking for them. Right, this is the, the direction I want to head in and I want to get there as soon as I can can because uh, now it's night. There's going to be a good chance uh, Squid is going to be finding a, a whole load of spiders. What I probably should do is just stay near him and every time he sees a spider just charge in and kill it and try and steal the, <laughs> the eye. The thing is though with spiders is they don't actually always drop spider eyes. They sometimes uh, just drop string or don't drop anything at all. So even if he has found some spiders they might not always drop what he wants them to drop you know. But then again that is the same with Enderman. Enderman don't always drop Ender Pearls, so uh, even once I find one, uh, there is no guarantee that I'm going to be able to, to get uh, an Ender Pearl. But I've just about uh, arrived at the desert now. Just over this hill, uh, we should see the, the first few sand dunes of the desert. So let me go and uh, hop my way up here. And here we go. We have arrived. Bring on the Enderman, right? If all the Endermen in the desert could all get into a nice orderly queue and take it in turns to be taken out by me so I can get your lovely, lovely Ender Pearls. Right, come on, Enderman. Come on, Stampy's here. Come on, guys. Come on, one at a time. Enderman? Hello? Hello? Anybody? <laughs> it's weird how quiet it's just gone. <laughs> it's so loud when you're going through there. Why is there nothing here? Okay, well I found, was that a spider? Right, I found a spider. That's what Squid wants, <laughs> not what I want. I bet he's finding loads of Endermen right now. I bet that's what hap what's happening. I'm gonna find all the spiders and he's gonna find the Endermen. We're gonna find what the other person wants. This is a massive desert though. Look, there's a, a skeleton out here. I might as well go and take him out just as something to do. And I think for for the less googlies there are around here as well, the, the more chance there is uh, that an enderman's going to spawn. Right, let's just stand up here and have a look around the place then, shall we? Any enderman? Can you see any enderman? Please be an enderman. Come on, I can see like across the entire desert here. Sometimes when they're too far in the distance, you don't see them. What's that, Tibbs? Have you seen something? What is it, boy? You want me to follow you? Okay, looks like Tibbs wants me to go this way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust Tibbs. Tibbs seems to to want me to move in this direction. What towards the jungle? 
Does it not rain in jungles? Is that what Tibbs is trying to tell me? Nope, it's definitely raining and there's a creeper behind me. Watch out for that, Tibbs. <laughs> oh dear, luckily dogs go don't go after creepers, which I'm kind of happy about. People moan the fact that dogs don't go after creepers. I'm happy because I like my dogs to, to last for a, a little while. And <laughs> I think if dogs did attack creepers, uh, they wouldn't last very long. Then again, it's probably quite dangerous going through all of these cacti. <laughs> He's doing quite a good of a, quite a good job of uh, dodging them though. And all right, here we go. Here's a few googlies down here. Once again, none of the none of the ones that I'm after, but uh, it's kind of a, a promising a promising sight that things are spawning here anyway. Right, let me hurt this guy. Go on, Tibbs. Go get him, Tibbs. Go on, Tibbs. Go on. Teach him who's boss. Yeah, good boy, Tibbs. Good boy. Right, where where are those Endermen? Oh, oh, there we go. There's a few zombies spawning in. Things seem to be spawning in as I wander around. So I guess if I sort of keep circling my way around the desert. And then there's going to be a, a good chance of one spawning in. Let me go and see what Squid's doing. Is he? Um, he's. Oh no, he's he's in the he's by the houses and he seems to be standing still. That doesn't fill me with the 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 most confidence in the world. I'll be honest. I'm actually very worried about going home. All he needed to do was get a, a spider eye, and uh, generally getting a spider eye would be considered much easier uh, than getting an ender pearl. Okay, well, I'm not going to give up hope though yet. I'm not going to give out hope though yet. He was he was lucky getting that 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 early ender pearl, but I am determined to get one. There's going to be one round here somewhere. There's loads of mobs spawning in now all over the place. Let me go and try and take out a few of these then, and try and uh, increase the the chances of a uh, an enderman spawning in then, shall we? Right, Tibbs should be able to to go and finish off that skeleton. Go on, Tibbs, go get him. Ruff, 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 ruff. Go on, go on. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> oh dear, and I'm getting actually really hurt from this. Right, let's go and do one more bit big loop uh, of the the entire desert and uh, if uh, if I don't see any more endermen uh, I think I might just have to go back home and try and see the damage because I do have a sneaking suspicion uh, that squid nugget has won the the uh, the googly challenge and all of the the challenges what I might do if he does win uh, is just try and suggest that we maybe do a, a best of five rather than a best of three <laughs> I'm gonna keep challenging him until I end up winning one and look I've never seen one of these in the wild before look at this there's a little desert well down here. Any Enderman in there? Hello, hello, hello. Any Enderman, any Enderman, any Enderman? Nope, no Enderman in the well. That'd have been a bit too convenient. <laughs> if only there was an end portal. Because then I could just go to the end and then I'd be able to get loads of Endermen down there. There's loads of Endermen hanging out in the end. Unfortunately, none of them hanging out here in the desert. What do you reckon then? Let's have a look at the, the map again and see what Squid's doing. Yeah, if you look at him, he's there. See the green arrow at the bottom? He's down there just completely standing still. And the chances were, if, uh, yeah, the chances are that if he was running around looking for uh, an, uh, a spider eye, that yeah, he would be running around like a, like a bit of a madman. So um, yep, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go go home and just see uh, what I'm going to be facing. And if he hasn't won, it's still not game over. I can still go and run around. But look, the moon's going down. The sun is going to be just about to rise on the other side over there. And then, yeah, everything's going to be burning. I think the rain might have stopped, though. Uh, hopefully. I think the fact that we can see the, the moon and stuff might mean that the, uh, the rain has stopped. So I might as well go and head back anyway. Uh, but because I'm going to be doing such a big trip all the way back home, I'm going to cut ahead in the, the video uh, until I've gone and arrived uh, back at the houses. So I will see you in just one moment. Okay, as you can see, the, the houses are just on the horizon. I've made my way back home. And I'm expecting the worst, I'll be honest. I hope to find uh, an Enderman on the way home, but nope, I've not seen one Enderman this entire time. And right, let's see what the, the damage is. Oh, what's that? He's done a, a big a big sign on the top right. Gunpowder, Rotten Flesh, Bone, Spider Eye, Ender Pearl, Blaze Rod, Ghast here, and Magma Cream. Squid Nugget wins. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh dear, I was so close. All I needed was that last enderpearl. To be honest, after the amazing greyhound out of the tracks like start Squid Nugget had, I'm kind of impressed that there was only one item between, but I just couldn't find an enderman. And to be honest, there wasn't much I could do about that. So that means that Squid Nugget is the winner of not just this challenges, uh, not just of this challenge, uh, but of all of the challenges. So I must say, I do believe the best man won. GG, Squid Nugget. GG, well played, well played. And so this does mean this is kind of 
uh, the end of the the challenges between me and Squid Nugget. But I am sure at some point in the future, uh, as we come up with some some more ideas, we're going to do some more challenges. And uh, as always, uh, feel free to leave uh, some suggestions in the uh, in the comments down below uh, for other challenges you'd like us to do. Uh, but coming up soon on my channel uh, is a uh, brand new challenge, uh, which I'm going to be doing cooperatively uh, with someone who I've never done a video with before. And so, yeah, make sure you check up uh, back to my channel next week uh, to find out who that person is and what that challenge is going to be. Right, one more thing. Let's take out the creeper. Woo, look at that teamwork. There we go. We were against each other. Then we ended up teamed up. Team up, team up, team up. Half a heart, team up, team up, team up. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this video here. A big congratulations to Ballistic Squid for winning. A big thank you to you for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye.